Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the Great Father and Son Quarrel Arc. It's the chapter where Hanma Baki and Hanma Yujiro became world famous. Do you think the strongest being alive is prepared for this kind of situation? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki volume collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts inside a certain hotel. Hanma Baki is preparing to launch his new technique. Exhaustion beyond the maximum point. The firmness of his muscle fibers is lost somewhere in his subconscious. Melting away quickly. Now, in the young man's consciousness. His bones and muscle fibers have completely disappeared. Leaving only a pool of liquid. But the liquid is not there anymore. It has already been vaporized. Exhaustion beyond belief. Now. Then Baki dashed forward. Cockroaches are the only creatures on earth that can achieve this. Maximum speed, right from the get-go. How do you like me now, father? I worked on this so hard just for you. Dashing at you at 168 miles per hour in 0.01 milliseconds. Gakaburi dash. The cockroach tackle. For the first time in his life, Hanma Baki managed to push the strongest being alive. Pushing him beyond the reinforced glass. The spectators then commented. Oh, ouch. They broke the walls. The ogre then said. A fierce attack to open this battle. Called I can walk on broken glass without getting cut. Where did you learn that one, little Houdini? Paid a dollar to a guy on the street to learn it? All of a sudden, Han Mabaki pulled back. And he launched an extremely precise kick. Striking the strongest being directly in the chin. Then following it up with another kick to the neck. Launching the ogre Hanma Yujiro in multiple layers of wall. Yujiro smiled, then said. Nice stuff, boy. Now seriously, where did you learn this? Making your muscle fibers turn into liquid. And without a minute's rest, turn that liquid into vapors. Switching back into solid matter with extreme tension. Without losing flexibility or power in the process. The overwhelming strength that you have achieved with this. It goes beyond what I have been anticipating. Countless talented men in the past have tried to master the art of extreme relaxation. Some more successfully than others. But none of them have surpassed the initial level of complete exhaustion. Much less the state of absolute liquefaction that I have seen for the first time in my life. This technique. I'd like to know. Who was the one that taught it to you? Where did you find him? Baki. He trained you well. Then the ogre threw Baki with a German suplex. Launching him outside the building. In our everyday lives, there's a word that describes unique events and fantastical stories that may or may not have been true. An urban legend. Such as the vast Takigawa gold treasure hidden beneath Mount Akagi. That the moon landing was actually staged in a cinema studio. Suchinoko and Chupacabras. The Bunny Man Bridge Spirits and other ghosts. The Loch Ness Monster. People spread these stories on the internet, read them in parapsychology books, and then tell their friends about it. Almost any genre activity or topic has an incredible myth that is hard to tell it apart from the truth. With the recent boom in popularity of ultimate fighting, martial arts fans also have their legends. But there's one that stands firmly above the rest. Have you heard about the strongest men in the world that are also father and son? Let me tell you, that movie that you saw is based on something real but is super secret. Somewhere in Japan, there's an underground fighting arena that's controlled by the government. Masters and fighters from all over the world gather in this place to decide who's the best of best in the fighting world. There are no weight classes, no time limits, no rounds either. It costs nothing to enter and there aren't cash or prizes to earn. Come, fight and win. The only undisputed rule of this fighting arena. Only use your body as your weapon. But yeah man. You can even kick them in the ball. Poke them in the eyes. And gross stuff like biting their fingers or other parts of their bodies. Of course, fighting without rules kills some guys, but it's nobody's fault. But guess what? 
The most incredible thing is that the best baddest champion in this arena has never lost a fight there. He's just a 17-year-old dude that's just short and skinny. He looks like he wouldn't kill a fly. But he's fighting for his dream, and someday, he will get the final battle he always wanted. There's only one man that this dude is afraid of. Imagine what kind of man that would be. Yeah, you're right. His own dad. He's huge and super strong. He even has a tattoo of the devil smiling in his back. They call him the ogre. He's so scary, the United States gave him all the money and respects he wants, so he doesn't destroy them. No countries can even touch this guy. As much as the rumors spread like this, they all end in the same paragraph. These two guys are about to fight very soon. It's going to be the best battle ever. The thing that we have observed from men. Any given day, they wake up and they take a look at themselves. Damn, I'm getting big. My arms are pretty powerful. Yeah, for sure. I just do like this. Hell yeah. If I just imagine a strong guy in front of me. Inside this empty space. In one punch, yeah. Wow. I'm good at this. I'm good at this. I can do this. Just with my natural talent. I stand a chance in battle. So, one day. He met the guy he was looking for. The strong guy. He faces the reality of the situation. The real sheer power and brute force. From men of the streets. Men of the dojo. Men of the gym. A cold reality check. On how strong you really are. In this case. He was an exception. To the rule of common men. He was aware of the truth for as long as he can remember. What kind of truth? Yes. He knew for a fact that he was the strongest of the world without equal. Just like the lion. He doesn't need anybody to inform him that he's the predator. The man was aware of his amazing fighting potential. Especially when the fiercest lion decided to run away from him. The day they crossed paths. Experienced martial artists. Then defeating different species. Rendering weapons useless. Crushing soldiers. Then, overcoming the police forces. In the end, with all these feats, the army feared him. Men that controlled the strongest political factions of the world gave him the authority to listen and fulfill his wishes. The man that achieved all these feats just by the sheer force of his arms. Information that should be classified and of private nature. Suddenly found its way into the hands of youngsters worldwide. You gotta be kidding me. Now, winning a fight against five guys doesn't mean anything. Getting the fighting champion belt doesn't mean anything either. Now, it means that you just walk to a site of power and overtake the government. Just with pure physical strength. Right? This is ridiculous. Somebody needs to draw a line to all this craziness. Say, if there was a Nobel Prize category for physical strength, the organizers wouldn't have to look any further. By unanimous decision. The recipient of this award will go to his hands. But even this man. Hanma Yujiro. Is surprised. He's not prepared for massive fame and glory. He is thinking. What the hell. Is going on around here. The person then said. Holy shiz. That's him. Yeah. That's the ogre. It's there. My gosh. He's huge. Right. Hey ogre. Then they all shouted. Yeah. The strongest being can't believe what he is seeing. He then whispered. This is not happening. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Hanma Yujiro and Hanma Baki will be able to accept their sudden popularity? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujabur, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, El Arshion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Hanma Baki managed to make Hanma Yujiro bleed? Stay tuned.